वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल मरीन सी टाइम टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ओवरऑलिंग एंड असेंबली ऑफ पिस्टन इन मेन इंजन ऑन सेप्स सो सेफ्टी प्रिकॉशन ऑन फिनिश्ड विद इंजन गेट इमोबिलाइजेशन परमिशन एंड प्रोपेलर क्लीयरेंस फ्रॉम ब्रिज अंडर पिस्टन स्पेसेस एंड कैबिन स्पेस वेंटिलेटेड बाय ब्लोअर स्टॉप्ड इंजन सेट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग एयर सप्लाई एट स्टार्टिंग एयर रिसीवर ब्लॉक द मेन स्टार्टिंग वाल्व सेट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग एयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग सिस्टम पावर सप्लाई Set off start safety air supply. Set off control air supply. Set off air supply to exhaust valve only with stopped lubricating oil pump. Engage the turning gear. Set off the cooling water. Set off the fuel oil. Stop lubricating oil supply. Lock the turbo charger rotors. Isolate the HP expansion tank. Then only drain jacket, water cooling water system, and open the purging valve so that the air pressure helps in draining the jacket water from the engine. Now after isolating all cooling water, fuel oil, lubricating oil. Control air, safety air. We will now prepare for the uh, taking out the piston from the engine. Now first is the preparation in the crankcase. Access. Open the crankcase door to the cylinder concern. Turn the cross head down for down enough to give access to the piston rod stepping box and the piston rod cross head connection. So you can see in this diagram. Here is the cross head. This is the stepping box. This is the piston rod which comes from the stepping box. Now this is the connecting rod. So now, what we will do is we will bring the cross head. We will open the crankcase door from here and bring the and uh, turn the engine so that the cross head can come down so that we can access the we can access this we can access the um, bolts over here which connects the piston rod to the cross head. So we will bring the cross head down. Uh, there is also a drain box, a drain pipe. Here, yeah. stuffing box drain pipe. So we'll disconnect this stuffing box and drain pipe from here. Now, number two point is we will remove the releasing the stuffing box by removing the innermost screw from the stuffing box head. So we will remove the innermost screw from the stuffing box. So this is the stuffing box. This is the stuffing box. This is the piston rod. And here we will have cross. We will have cross head over here. I have told you before only. Now we will remove the innermost screw. This is the this is the innermost screw from here. This is the innermost screw which secure the uh, stuffing box in the frame. So we will remove this innermost screw from the stuffing box. Now number third point is loosen the piston rod cross head connection. Remove the screw from the piston rod. So these are the screw which connect the. This is the piston rod. This is the. Uh, this is the cross head. You can see. This is the guide screw. This is the pin. This is the uh, connecting rod. So the piston rod is connected to the pin. The piston rod is connected to the pin through these bolts. You can see over here. This is the bolts. So we will remove this bolt. Remove the screw from the piston rod. Number third point is remove the screw from the piston rod. Now we'll put the stepping box distance piece. So you can see over here. This is the distance piece over here. This is the this is the piston rod. Here we will have stepping box. So the piston rod is connected with the stepping box. This is the piston rod. This is the cross head, and this is the stepping box. So we'll connect. Uh, so we'll connect this rod so that uh, at the time of taking out the piston, the stepping box will also come. So this is the distance piece. Distance piece. So the distance piece connects the bottom of the piston rod to the stepping box, so that the, uh, at the time of uh, taking out the piston, the stepping box can also come out. So number four point is mount the two pist piston pieces on the piston rod foot to protect the lower scraper ring and to guide the stepping box. So this is the number four point. We will put the distance box, uh, distance piece. Now number fifth is we will mark uh, after taking out the cylinder cover. After taking out uh, this is the cylinder cover. Cylinder cover will be here. <coughs> so after taking out the cylinder cover, we will mark over here. We will mark one point so that uh, during assembly of the piston, we can make the piston to go uh, <coughs> to go into the engine at that position only. So we will mark over here. So make a scratch mark in the liner and piston cleaning. So remove the piston cleaning ring. After removing the cylinder cover, remove the there will be piston cleaning ring over here. Piston cleaning ring. Piston cleaning ring or it is also called <coughs> anti-polishing ring. So here we will, we will have anti-polishing ring and piston cleaning ring. So we will remove after after overhauling the after taking out the cylinder cover from the engine. Now we will lift the piston with the help of piston lifting tool. 
so we will bring the crankshaft into a position and the piston will come out from the liner and after that we will lift the piston through the piston uh, uh, we will lift the piston by the lifting tool we have a lifting groove on the piston count we will put the tool over here this is the lifting tool we will put the tool on the grooves of the piston and then we will take out the piston from the engine no lift the piston out of the cylinder liner and guide the piston root foot to the stepping box line if the engine is equipped with long distance piece for the stepping box the piston root foot can pass between two cylinder cover stud place the two half of the support around one opening in the platform lower the piston root foot and stepping box through the opening in the platform secure the two support halves with screw so now we will bring the piston uh, so you can see how we are removing the piston from the engine you can see from here and then we will bring that piston and we, and we will land in the platform you can see how we are landing in, in the platform now protect the crosshead bearing so after taking we will put a uh, we will place a cover over the opening of the piston rod stepping box so we will place a cover so that so that uh, no any no material will go into the crankcase of the engine from the stuffing box to the crankcase so we will put one cover over the stuffing box piston rod stuffing box so clean measure and recondition the cylinder liner so this is the this is how <coughs> the stuffing box looks like this is the this is the pin this is the top bearing this is the lower crosshead bearing this is the connecting rod piston support now place the piston in the support and remove the piston lifting tool clean the piston top and the piston ring so what all things we will check in the piston check that the piston top template is permanently marked with the piston top center diameter so we will put the template and we will measure the burn away from the crown if the burn away exceeds the value then note it and then contact the main BMW engine so remove the stuffing box after removing the stuffing box number 3 we will we'll do the piston ring dismantling from the piston so you can see we have 4 pins over here first one first ring is pressure relief ring first compression ring second compression ring and third compression ring now take out the piston ring by means of the ring expander if the engine is equipped with two rings expander the long ring expander is used for the uppermost ring now we will do the ring expansion uh, ring inspection after the ring inspection inspect the ring one at a time and note down the result ring tension check the tension of the piston ring by pressing against them with a wooden stick so with the help of a wooden stick check the piston ring tension after that check the axle clearance you can see how the axle clearance is taken take a filler gauge and put uh, put over on the top and on the below of both the four rings so the axle clearance will be total e plus, e plus f e is for the top and f is for the bottom now take the butt clearance this is the piston this is the piston relief uh, ring pressure relief ring that is the first number piston uh, first number ring of the piston measure the butt clearance you can see how we are measuring the butt clearance of that four rings butt clearance is the distance between the two rings at the ends <coughs> now after uh, first we have uh, made first we have measured the axle clearance then butt clearance then third one is the back clearance so back clearance is measured by measuring the width of the ring measure the radial width of the ring note down the result so this was the for the uh, back clearance of the piston of the rings so now clean the rings groove and check them for burn marks or any other deformation measure the ring grooves with the caliper so we will measure the ring grooves with the help of a caliper gauge and data clearance in the piston ring groove the maximum vertical height in the worn ring groove must not exceed the value stated in data now the third point is piston crown dismant uh, dismantling so you can see we are removing these nuts so these are the nuts this is the nut which connects the piston rod to the piston crown and skirt so remove these nuts after removing these nuts piston crown turning then turn the piston crown after turning the piston crown take out the piston crown and the skirt so piston crown there is a nut which connects the piston crown with the skirt so remove this nut so that the piston crown and the skirt will 
separate from each other remove the skirt from the engine so you can see how the skirt is being removed this is the skirt this is the skirt this is the piston crown so remove the stage 2 so mount the two o-rings on the piston skirt check that the surface of the o-ring grooves are clean and smooth so we have a o-ring over here between this piston between this piston crown and piston skirt we have o-ring so clean the o-ring between these two piston crown and skirt mounting then we will mount these two piston crown after cleaning all the uh, uh, cooling spaces in the piston crown and after inspecting all this we will now mount the skirt and the piston crown then we will do ceiling ring and pressure test so ceiling ring and pressure test so ceiling ring test is done with the help of a compressed air so we have a ceiling ring between the piston crown and the skirt so we will do we will check that there is no leakage um, between these two so we will do it by a compressed air compressed air of 4.5 bar connect compressed air to the testing tool and fill the piston to 4.5 bar close the valve on the testing tool and remove the air connection just now hold the pressure for minimum 30 minutes spray a little soap water on the joints of the between the piston rod, uh, piston rod ground and skirt to detect leaks dry off all soap water so we'll put uh, over here the pressure uh, ceiling ring testing tool and then we will uh, we will fill the piston rod ground and skirt with air and then we will put 4.5 by air and here we will put soap solution between these two if there is any leakage then there will be bubble if there is no leakage then it is okay now second is we do pressure test we will fill the entire piston rod and piston with lubricating oil and then we will mount the pressure testing tool on the piston root foot so pressure test the piston at a pressure stated on the data so check the contact surface, uh, surfaces of the piston and the ceiling rings for tightness check there is no crack in the piston ground so pressure test is done to check there is no crack in the piston ground piston rod and all so turn the piston upside up and drain all the drain out the piston oil so after uh, doing the pressure test drain the piston oil from the piston by making it turn the upside piston down up, upside up after doing all this so turn the piston and then uh, lower the piston root foot until it is close to the platform now put the new piston rings you can see then we are assembling the piston rings in the piston after that preparation of piston so mount the lifting tool on the piston crown after putting back the piston ring in the piston uh, mount the lifting tool on the piston crown you can see then stuffing box position and see that the stuffing box is correctly positioned over the distance pieces mounted on the piston root foot and mount the distance pieces in the piston root foot and then put the stuffing box over here mount the guide ring above the uh, liner cylinder liner then remove the remove the stuffing box cover which we have put in before in the opening of the stuffing box flange so we will remove it from here so number 4 you can see remove this cover now turn the piston down turn the uh, turn the crankshaft so that the so that the uh, crosshead will come will come to BTC the mount mount the piston coat the o-ring of the stuffing box and the piston rod with oil coat the piston ring and cylinder liner with cylinder lubricating oil lower the piston into the cylinder liner while guiding the piston root foot through the cut out in the stuffing box flange until the piston ring are inside the liner crosshead alignment turn the crosshead almost to tdc while checking that the guide ring of the crosshead enters the center hole in the position rod after turning the crosshead fully to tdc and ensuring that the piston rod has full contact with the crosshead unscrew the lifting tool and remove the lifting tool and the guide ring for the piston ring now we'll put back the screw in the stuffing box you can see the number 9 point put back the screw on the stuffing box tighten tightening of the piston rod crosshead connection mount the mount and tighten the piston rod screw so now we'll mount the piston rod screw this is the piston rod this is the crosshead so we'll mount the screw over here mount the piston cleaning ring in accordance with the scratch mark so we'll mount the piston cleaning ring over here above the cylinder liner 
cylinder cover studs. When the cylinder cover studs have been re removed, remount them carefully, clean the surface around. So we'll mount the cylinder cover in the studs. We'll measure it, measure the stud. So after putting putting back the cylinder cover in the engine, we have done with the engine. So we'll tighten this hydraulically. We'll tighten all the nuts so that the cylinder cover mounts on the cylinder liner. So guys, this is all about assembly and disassembly installation of the piston from the engine. So hope you all guys like it. If you like the video, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed till now, please subscribe the channel so that I can bring more videos like this. Thank you guys. God bless you all.